After weeks of scrutiny, a former crypto founder will face justice after prosecutors say he defrauded investors out of millions of dollars. Sam Bankman Fried led the now defunct FTX cryptocurrency exchange. It attracted celebrities and business titans alike, even some members of Congress. Now the company's facing fraud charges and bankruptcy. Federal prosecutors charged Bankman Freed after his arrest in the Bahamas yesterday, just before a congressional hearing on the company's practices. Tom Dempsey breaks it all down for us this morning. Tom, it's easier to count the agencies that might not be looking into Sam Bankman Freed than to count the ones that are, because man, everybody wants a piece of this guy. Yeah, that's right, Mitch. You know, some prosecutors are even saying this is the biggest fraud investigation in the history of the country. And later today, uh, there's going to be yet another hearing happening inside the Capitol dealing with the collapse of FTX. And as Samuel Bankman Freed faces this massive fraud investigation, there's some big questions being asked this morning over his parents and their connections to the company. We want to share with our viewers sort of what we've been able to gather about Samuel Bankman Freed. Uh, his mother and father. We know his uh, father, Joseph Bankman, works as a tax law professor at Stanford. A family spokesman says Bankman also worked for FTX for almost a year, helping with charitable operations and recruiting lawyers in the company's early days. He allegedly traveled frequently to the Bahamas, where the company was based. And last year, he advised his son during meetings on Capitol Hill as he got set to testify in front of a congressional committee. Barbara Freed, his mother, retired from teaching at Stanford and headed a political advocacy network called Mind the Gap, which supported Democratic campaigns and causes. The Times reports that her son was among the donors for the network. She later resigned from that position, though. Bankman Freed has said his parents made no vital decisions inside FTX, and no evidence has emerged tying his mom and dad to any criminal activity. During testimony at the Capitol on Tuesday, the current CEO of FTX said the organization of the company the organization can make it the investigation tough. We're dealing with literally a sort of a, a paperless bankruptcy in terms of how they created this company. It makes it very difficult to, uh, uh, to trace and track uh, assets, uh, and particularly, as I've said, in the crypto world. Uh, it's, it's really unprecedented in terms of uh, the lack of documentation. Now, two very important things to note, Mitch. Uh, no official evidence has tied the parents to any criminal activity as of yet, and they have not been charged with anything uh, in this investigation. In fact, friends who spoke to the Times said they don't believe that uh, either of them could do, uh, do any wrongdoing, uh, take part in any wrongdoing. Again, those are the friends saying that. It'll be interesting to see what investigators uh, can figure out, Mitch. So we hear they were in the Bahamas when this arrest took place. Do we know where they are now? Yeah, they were allegedly in the courtroom, uh, you know, during this uh, hearing that uh, Samuel Bankman Freed, uh, you know, took part in yesterday, uh, believing they're still in the Bahamas right now. Bankman Freed still remains behind bars uh, at this hour, tied to this massive fraud investigation. And then the question is when he might be extradited over here to the United States to face even more questions and more trials ahead, Mitch. All right, that's Tom Dempsey live in D.C. for us. Thank you, Tom. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.